Hi there everybody, Bold and Curious here. At the range, doing a little shooting till temperature drops. It's about 36 degrees, not that bad. So uh, let's talk about competition guns for the next season. Uh, last year I acquired this. Unfortunately, uh, biggest drawback of the Alien, Lago Arms Alien is uh, he can't really shoot it in the competition. Uh, to clarify, uh, as it sits right now, this gun I think is 52 ounces. The previous owner put all these lock grips, uh, brass, uh, brass uh, back strap, and the side panels, and it just increased the weight quite a bit. So it's not one of the reasons why it's not uh, uh, carry optics legal. Second is because the optic doesn't move, uh, which I believe they do make a mount uh, for that, so you can retrofit that. But it's also a single action uh, only gun, so. 100% not legal in uh, in uh, carry optics. Uh, really, without the optic, well, you can shoot it in the limited, or as it sits right now, uh, and what I've been doing, I've been I've been shooting in a open minor division. So that put aside, second drawback, they only come with uh, 17 round magazines. Yes, New York State they only 10 rounders, but out of state there's 17 and. Uh, uh, you really want to be able to have at least one or two mags that are 20 plus rounds because uh, it's just a, the way the stages are designed at the USPSA it's I, I believe uh, 32 rounds or something like that so uh, with two mags you have 34 rounds really don't give you that much makeup and you, you kind of limited the way you do your reloads so you really need something like uh, SIG X5 has these uh, with the extensions that hold 23 rounds Unfortunately, they don't make any bigger magazines, and there's no manufacturer that makes extensions uh, for these mags, at least not to my knowledge. If you guys know anything, let me know. I did buy a Taylor Freelance extension for a Glock, heavily, heavily modified it. It still didn't really work. So, yeah, I contacted uh, Taylor Freelance. They said it's probably not worth it for them to mess around with it because it'll cost them too much money. So uh, Lago needs to do something about that. Uh, any of you are going to be at the SHOT Show. Unfortunately, I won't make it this year. I'm too broke after buying these guns. Uh, go talk to them. They're probably going to be there and tell them. they got to address that. That being said, it, it'll be excellent a three-gun gun. All right? So what I want to do today, I want to do a little comparison between this and, uh, and the X5 and talk about the... Uh, the recoil and the muzzle rise and how it differs and and what happens so let's start with the x5 x5 uh, is probably one of the most popular uh competition guns right now because the way it comes you can pretty much shoot it in any division it's customizable idpa legal you name it but only real upgrade that i did on mine major was the uh, the trigger this is the armory craft trigger with adjustable pre-travel and over travel it just shortens the reset a little bit for me and I did add a extended mag release and a, a gas pedal uh, that's more of a for a uh, just a placement of the fingers I mean it, it provides a little bit of the downward force but it's not like a gas pedal on the open gun and I got this brass uh, grips mag uh, uh, flashlight, whatever they call it, the eight ounce uh, weight in the front, which I'm still kind of debating. Now, when you're shooting this gun, it behaves like a like any regular gun that you shoot. You have you have a little bit of the muzzle rise. That's that's pretty much pretty much normal between the weight up front and the actual weight of the gun. Uh, it uh, it mitigates it quite a bit. So, especially with the nine millimeter, you don't really have a whole lot of recoil coming at you this way. Everything kind of goes this way, and uh, weight of the gun and and a, and a light kind of eats up quite a bit of that energy. So, uh, let me fire a couple of rounds so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And as you can tell, if you grip the gun properly. The muzzle rise is, is minimal, really not enough for you not to be able to track a dot. I mean, that jumps up, but like I said, it, it shouldn't really, really leave the window. You should be able to track it without a problem. 
Now here comes the log arms alien. This gun doesn't behave like your conventional gun because your hand is right in line with the with the barrel. So low bore axis. Let me lock the slide to the rear so you can see what the barrel is compared to the X5. So when you're shooting this gun, the very first shots uh, that I took is like, wow, this gun has a lot more recoil than any pistol I ever shot, especially being so heavy and being 9mm. But the muzzle rise is almost not there. Uh, it's kind of hard to show the force, what's happening. It's happening this way, and you can you can definitely feel it going from from uh, uh, X5 to this. And weight-wise, they're really not that far apart, considering that has that heavy flashlight and uh, flashlight and everything. But uh, when you're shooting this, all the forces come straight back at you, and there's almost no muzzle rise. Let me show you. You can tell that that gun barely jumps, but there is this. Now, question is, what's worse? Is it uh, is it harder? Is it harder to mitigate the recoil, or is it harder to track the dot while uh, uh, you know while your gun is jumping up and down? It's really it really boils down to. I would say style of shooting and style of grip. Once you grip the gun uh, properly, it doesn't doesn't really matter. This makes it so much easier. The trigger so much nicer, so you can go a lot faster. And but you gotta be prepared because all that all that energy comes at you like this, and you can you can feel it. The very first moments, very first shot you're gonna take, you're gonna feel it comes like that, opposed to shooting this. You don't really feel a whole lot going this way, you feel going this way. So the horizontal movement of the regular gun is a lot more than, uh, than the one with the alien. Now, we kind of got both down to a price as well. This is now a $6,000 gun as it sits. And uh, magazines, each magazine is 100 bucks. Uh, virtually no aftermarket support other than you know grips from log grips those guys are fast they jump on everything fast and i think a red hill tactical makes a holster for it uh other than that uh biggest problem with this gun is you can you have to be running a quality ammunition it's gotta be a full metal jacket uh when i did uh it'll run coated bullets but you have to clean it and scrub it the piston and everything literally after each uh, each range session you know and there's a chance you're gonna screw it up i did i did run i did run the the coated bullets for quite some time for a couple hundred rounds and it just baked the 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 piston system so i think next year i'm just gonna keep continue shooting this i, I don't plan on shooting any major matches uh next year to be honest uh, i'm at the point that I, I i came i came to peace i'm a b shooter i'll probably be b shooter forever and that's fine, and I'm having a lot more fun at the local matches than the big matches. The big matches, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of things going on, especially air eye matches, are, uh, they cram 12, 13 stages in a one day. Uh, I might do nationals, if they're in Ohio this year, I might do that, but other than that, I'm just going to stick with the local matches, maybe try to shoot some Trigun uh, again, if, if something pops up locally. And uh, for that, this gun is perfectly fine. Although I'm not giving up on my on my X5, uh, I might still shoot that. Maybe try to make A class in a, in a carry optics this year. So definitely, I'm gonna alternate between these two guns for uh, uh, for my shooting career, <laughs> for lack of better words, for this year. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, either one is a, either one is an awesome uh, awesome competition gun. Uh, X uh, uh, X5, the, the whole 320. I'm just in love with it. The Z320 is my EDC, so it's in my truck all the time. So, yeah, uh, that's got that's how much I like this. That's how much of a sequel I am. But this is just cool. This is just it looks cool. It's out of the world. It's something different. It's a conversation starter. And uh, 
again, good shooting gun. So that's all you have. That's all I have for you. Uh, that's what the next year is going to be. Sorry about the fairly long video. If you like this kind of video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have fun. Keep shooting.